Yo, what's going on guys? Welcome back to another video. Today we're going to be talking about some uh, more Modern Warfare 3. But yeah, I'm actually doing this live right now. Like I'm, I'm talking while I'm playing, which uh, in the past couple of videos, I've actually recorded it separately and had like a little like list of things I want to talk about because usually like my mind gets like sidetracked, obviously playing the game and uh, I'll, I'll be, I'll forget like where I'm at, <laughs> um, but I'll just go off the hit today. You know what I'm saying? I'm actually trying out this new M13C. Check it out, you know what I mean? Level it up a bit, I guess. Get some battle pass, I guess. The first thing I wanna talk about is actually the reveal event that just happened yesterday, or at least yesterday from the day of recording. I'm gonna be honest, it was actually garbage. It was it was terrible. I'm actually, let me turn down the game audio a bit. It's kind of, bro, I'll be getting, I'll be losing track of where I'm at, bro. I, <laughs> I shouldn't be doing it like this, screw it. So yeah, yesterday was the reveal event. It was absolutely garbage. It was freaking dookie, bro. <laughs> the gameplay part, like the little event part that you play was actually really fun. I really liked it. It was really cool to, you know, to play like a big event like that with all your team working together. It wasn't like an annoying ass thing where like you could get killed and then you couldn't be part of it or whatever. It was really fun being just all working together. And I think they need to do more of that. Instead of just doing it for like the reveals and stuff, I feel like they should just do events like that every now and then. It's just really fun. I know like events like this and multiplayer and everything is supposedly connected to the, the main story. So everything has to be canon or whatever. So you can't just do random things for the sake of it because like it won't make sense in the story. I think that's stupid. I think just because something's in multiplayer doesn't mean it's canon to the freaking story. I know my friend really likes it like that. He always talks about how he's glad that Graves didn't die so that he could be a playable operator or whatever. I think that's stupid. I mean, it's just like you should be able to have a skin in the game without it being freaking canon like i mean we got freaking cat people in the game so it's like what does it matter but whatever i know people enjoy that so whatever like i said the gameplay part was actually oh shoot the gameplay part was actually really fun i just think the actual trailer was like garbage like it didn't really show us more than what we already saw i guess you could say what i mean what did it show really it showed the ice mission we've already seen that it showed the mainly it showed that rainy freaking prison break mission which we've already saw they showed a part where Captain Price supposedly dies. Oh no, Captain Price. I think, bro, there's no way they're going to kill off Captain Price. I mean, maybe. I mean, I don't really, personally, I don't really care. I mean, whatever. But it seemed like that part was just so, like, it was just such a, like, a little, damn, I thought I was going to spin on him. It was such, like, a little, like, attention grab moment. Like, it didn't even look like an intense moment or anything. It was just, like, laying, he just, like, laid down or, like, he just, like, fell down or something. I don't know. It was kind of whack. It felt like just an attention grabber, like, oh my god, is Price gonna die? Just so people talk about it more than they would have. But yeah, overall, I mean, they didn't really show much more than what we had already seen. It was just more of like extended parts of that little reveal thing they did. So yeah, I thought that was pretty underwhelming. It seemed like some people were trying to be hyped about it, but I don't know. I just didn't. I didn't, I, I didn't personally see whatever they saw. I like this gun so far. It's pretty good. I don't know what the freaking min maxer is talking about though. I don't know if this is statistically a good gun or not. I don't really know. But so far I'm liking it. I think it's better than the freaking Famas. The Famas kind of cheeks a little bit. Maybe I'm cheeks. I don't know. Damn! Oh my god. I, bro, I'm not cheeks, bro. You see that? Excellent gameplay, excellent gameplay. So yeah, I think that was extremely disappointing. It was whack. But the good thing, I guess, about yesterday or the reveal day or whatever was that YouTubers that got to play the game early were actually able to start talking about the game. And I thought that was pretty cool because we got some cool information, some good ass information, I think. So some of the things we heard was uh, a lot of the leaks and stuff were confirmed true, the 150 health, you know, just overall faster gameplay everything they're trying to be they're trying to bring back the cod to what it should be supposedly they say that literally every year they said oh it's a love letter to the call of duty fans like bro you've been saying that every year it literally says that but whatever overall i mean these are good changes right i mean i don't think oh that guy left i don't think everybody anybody's really mad about these changes uh, I, was, I was gonna say they didn't really show anything new but actually they did or they did tell us about what is it called freaking tactical stance or whatever i feel like it's freaking ghost of tsushima with the freaking what the hell Ghost of Tsushima when they have like the when you have the different fighting styles and stuff like that. That's instantly what it reminded me of. So basically tax dance is mix between oh, I hate when they have these big ass laser beams. You don't have to aim in and it just shows up all the time. Like, bruh, you kidding me? That is so garbage, bro. Like, I don't know. I I, I don't know, bro. Anyways, so apparently tax dance is a toggleable mode. A toggle toggleable toggle toggle toggleable? A toggleable still don't sound right toggleable mode where you enter a state kind of like the avatar state <laughs> just kidding you enter like this this 
I guess a state where like it's a mix between ADS and hip fire. Somebody, my friend actually was like, it's kind of like when you use canted lasers, you aim in, but you're not really aimed in, but you're more aimed in than hip fire. And anyways, in that mode, I guess you're faster. You run faster. I'm, I'm guessing you move faster, maybe slide faster. And then also you could slide. Bro, there's only two people on the enemy team. Oh my God. <laughs> Anyways, you could let me just uh, ruin their day a little bit more. Uh, I try to put counter UAV, but so yeah, so you uh, basically it's they said it's kind of like a breach and clear type of thing. So if there's like a guy in a building, say like there's a guy like in this building or whatever, basically I would activate this freaking mode, and it would allow me to run faster, and it would actually allow me to slide and shoot at the same time. Maybe this is how you could slide cancel without it. You can't slide cancel. I'm not entirely sure. I don't know if they confirm that or not. But um, it seemed pretty cool. A lot of people were saying it, it sounds like a gimmick. And at first, I didn't like it either. I was like, bro, that's so garbage. Like, instead of just giving us better movement, they attach it to a freaking a mode you have to activate. But that actually does sound fire, bro. Like, I'm not going to lie. It sounds kind of fire. So if someone's camping in here, I just activate that little mode and I'm like, new, and I start shooting and hopefully I, you know, my speed or whatever, gives me a little bit of advantage, but we'll see if this is actually like a gimmick or if this is like a real thing. Oh, get him teammate. Damn, I couldn't see. Oh no, he got, he got us, he got us. Watch this though, they call me ultimate, they call me ultimate spy master for a reason. Dumbass, dumbass, get his ass, get his ass. Ooh, final kill. Hell yeah. Look at this. Excellent. Ooh, hell yeah. But anyways, so yeah, I think this is pretty cool. This little tax dance thing. Maybe it will be a gimmick thing that nobody uses because people were comparing it to um, Vanguard where you can like blind fire over cover. The difference with this though is that with blind fire, you have to be sitting at a spot and blind fire over like you can't really do anything. With this mode though, you actually like run around and you're like in combat, you know? So I, I think this will probably be less of a gimmick than blind firing but i guess we'll have to see honestly i think it sounds pretty cool but yeah all right so we're back on our new map i'm gonna get a thumbnail real quick before we continue talking i'm gonna see if this oh my god i got a freaking oh, will this work <laughs> i figured i'd use the in-game freaking green screen for a thumbnail but i don't know if this will work it's kind of ass i'm gonna be honest kind of ass so that movement form a tactical stance whatever it's called it's kind of like it's supposedly kind of like this where like you aim your gun in but it's not really aimed in fully this is kind of like i'm assuming what it looks like oh shoot oh oh the second thing I want to talk about is actually the oh, is actually the maps. They actually confirm that yes, oh, all twelve, I believe, all or sixteen or I don't know, all the maps of MW two will be the standard for MW three maps. Oh, in uh in MW three, only those maps, so only the OG maps, no new maps or MW three maps. However, they did say that over the course of the game's life cycle, they will drop I think twelve brand new maps into the game 12 so that's what i'm assuming i'm assuming it's 12 original maps and then the 12 new maps 24 maps i guess um by the end of the game which is pretty fire i'm not gonna lie that's pretty insane i still think them having mw2 maps at launch is pretty lazy but i mean it is what it is i guess i guess we'll just have to see and i had oh and i damn that guy sucks bro i turn on him see that <laughs> anyways um so yeah i guess Damn, I keep thinking I keep thinking this is counter UAV. Hold on, let's go blow this dude to smithereens real quick. Watch this. You fool. You absolute idiot. So yeah, regardless, it's cool, I guess. I'm also surprised that supposedly all the 12 maps that are dropping are gonna be new maps. I'm surprised there's no MW3 maps supposed to be coming out. A lot of people were hyped for MW3 maps. I don't really know. I'm not a, I'm not a I never played MW3. Oh yeah, and then supposedly there's these things called aftermarket parts in the game. Bro, I cannot think of it. Damn, this guy's Fortnite, bro. This guy got some mats, bro. He's over here building. Damn. Apparently, there's this thing called aftermarket parts in the game. And basically, what I heard someone was talking about is that they're kind of like, what I'm thinking of is they're kind of like operator mods from Black Ops 4. I don't know if you remember Black Ops 4 operator mods. Basically, it greatly changed up your gun a bit, I guess. But the reason these are called aftermarket parts is because they're actually 3D printed. As we saw in the little clip of MW3's No Russian, they put together a 3D printed pistol. And supposedly, that's what aftermarket parts are. They're 3D printed parts that change up your gun. I don't know how much or to what extent. Base Scope actually said in his video that they had like a pistol that like had parts of it chopped off. I don't know exactly what that means, but then like they were replaced with 3D printed parts, which actually changed it into like a little like a SMG or something. So that's pretty cool. I'm super, 
super interested in the scene that if you don't know i'm i'm big into 3d printing i'm actually 3d printing a green goblin helmet from the raimi movies and i'm super excited to finish that but anyways it's gonna be pretty cool to see how they how they implement that into the game and stuff like that that's gonna be it for today let me know what you guys think in the comments below are you excited for the game are you not excited does anything said sound interesting or is it still an al game i think i'm still wary i'm i mean i'm gonna get the game regardless but i'm still wary of like the game and everything like that but i guess we'll have to wait and see so yeah if you liked the video please leave a like if you want to see more please subscribe and yeah man i'll talk to you guys later y'all peace oh this guy sucks get freaking ankles broken loser